Captain Ibrahim Traore of Burkina Faso sends troops to protect Niger. He said he was going to do it and he's keeping his words. So let's see. Captain Ibrahim Traore's Burkina Faso is keeping to its word after saying that it would defend Niger if anyone tried to attack. This came after Ikawa's threatened to restore democracy in Niger after the July 26 coup that ousted French ally President Mohamed Bazoum. Several military units from Burkina Faso's armed forces have arrived in Niger, as reported by Sky News Arabia. The exact number of military personnel that were deployed is not yet clear. Hmm. On August 31, Burkina Faso's junta approved a bill to send the country's forces to Niger to prevent terrorism and resist any invaders. This happened after the economic community of West African states, Ikawas, threatened to use force to reinstate ousted President Bazoum. After that, Burkina Faso and Mali warned that any military intervention in Niger would be considered a declaration of war against their nations. Burkina Faso's defense minister says that what affects Niger's security also affects Burkina Faso's security. Burkina Faso and Mali have also sent warplanes to Niger. Niger is reportedly mm. organizing Send a volunteer militia force of civilians in response to a potential military intervention by Ikawas. Meanwhile, several African bodies have expressed concern over the Ikawas imposed sanctions against Niger. About 50 pan-African organizations in 20 countries have issued a joint declaration condemning Ikawa's sanctions against Niger. A member of the Thomas Sankara Center said the declaration was a resounding call for disobedience against those who feed on our misery. Mm. Fatou Balora said that they will no longer tolerate the power games that deprive Africa of its wealth and right to self-determination. Reports of Burkina Faso armed forces moving into Niger come after the U.S. announced that it would be pulling out half of its troops from Niger. Also, it will be repositioning the rest, moving them from Air Base 101 in Niamey to Air Base 201 in Agadez, which is about 800 kilometers away from Niamey, the capital of Niger. The Pentagon has claimed that this is a precautionary move. However, we know that the U.S. has a drone surveillance base in Agadez that is worth over $100 million. The U.S. is probably trying to pull all its resources together to ease evacuation from Niger if it comes to it. We have added a link to the video on our channel that talks about U.S. troops leaving Niger. I think now they really want the U.S. or the ambassador to start with. They want um, the ambassador to leave because the ambassador did not honor the authority of the Nigerian leaders. So they are asking for, you know, the person to leave. I don't know if eventually they might push for real and ask every, um, is it diplomat worker to leave? And also the military people, they might ask them to evacuate as well. It seems they're trying to restructure so they can establish their own power. You know, it's a common thing in, in, a, in a government, especially after a coup. We have been seeing military coups across several former French colonies and increasing anti-France protests in these countries. Of course, it is now evident that France has been exploiting these countries by tapping their resources at very low prices. For example, France bought most of Niger's uranium at 80 cents per kilogram, while Canada sells its uranium at $200 per kilogram. You can find a video of the uranium price increase in Niger on our channel. We've added the link in the description below. The young Africans have woken up to put an end to the Western suppression and colonial mentality that are keeping them poor. It is possible that we will experience more- Wait, that thing doesn't seem well in my head. Like, I've seen it before, I've read it before. We saw a video of that 0 0.8 cents to $200. But the person and the person who signed this deal, why didn't you see this previously? Were you comfortable doing that? Letting people take your resource like that while your people suffer. The difference is too big. It's too big. It sends to $200. Uh-uh. Come on, man. Or coups in the coming months, as there are grudges in many other African countries, especially those that were colonized by France. We have a video showing you how France keeps 14 African countries poor. Find the link in the description below. What do you think of Mali and Burkina Faso defending Niger?
Do you think that Ikawas will try to attack Niji? Uh, Ekowas definitely wouldn't try to attack Niji anymore. I feel like, you know, the last time they were blaming Tinubu, um, the president of Nigeria, for attacking, but and he's also the chairman of Ekowas, so if the blame was almost um, well channeled because if you're trying to blame someone in Ekowas, you blame the, the chairperson, right? But it doesn't seem like he's interested in really attacking or militarily intervening militarily. Is that a word? Basically, what I'm saying is he's changed his mind and he said they will not be, or ECOWAS will not be intervening with military, but rather they would increase the sanctions to get the leaders to relinquish power, which would be unlikely. The, the sanctions would definitely squeeze the people, but it won't squeeze the leaders to relinquish power. And also, Niger is back receiving humanitarian aid from EU. With regards to the power Nigeria had cu had cut from them, um, I think Russia and India, yeah, I think it will be Russia and India, they are helping Niger build a dam that is going to help supply them power. And in the meantime, Algeria is supplying um, electricity to help the nation. So yeah, it seems Niger, they are, you know, slowly but building up, coming up again. Let me know what you think of that. And I like the fact that they've now realized what they've been losing from uranium, even though a lot has been lost already, but it's good. It's good to steer back in the right direction. Talk to me about your thoughts on that one. Is the end of this video. Smash the like button, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace. I'm gonna hate this bed on my own. Bed on my own.